in this video we are going to see uh, memory map language. What do you mean by memory map language? Memory is nothing but primary memory. And I would even say different. So how it, why it is called memory map language? So we have exclusive instructions to access the memory. If you use the same instruction to access the I.O. device, then we call it as a memory map I.O. So to transfer data between microprocessor and the I.O. devices, memory related is like LTA, STA. So when you say LTA, after LTA you have 16-bit address. This is nothing but memory address. If the same 16-bit address is connected to an I.O. device and you use the uh, LDA, then the 16 bit address, or SDA, and then 16 bit address, in order to access the particular IO device which has that address, then we call it as memory map address. So the microprocessor communicates with the IO device as if it has one of the memory locations. So it will communicate with the IO device because of the 16 bit address as if it is, it thinks it has a memory location as if it is a memory location that communicates. In the below example, if an output device here, instead of memory registry is connected at this address, okay. if uh, IO device has this address, then you can use this STA instead of in and out. Okay, uh, you can use STA to transfer the content of accumulated to this particular device. The accumulated contents will be transferred to the device. This is called memory map time. So you can use LDA, load the accumulator, then there will be a 16 bit address, which means the accumulator will be loaded with the data from the memory address. This can be used equal to in. Where if you use in the uh, under port address, the one which is connected, the device is connected with the port address, the uh, data will be read and it will be based on the accumulator. Same thing you can use with the LDA if the particular address is a 16 bit address. So let us compare between the memory map and the uh, IO with particular data. First, you see the characteristic. It is a device address, it is a 16 bit. The memory map of the IO, then similar to other locations, it is also 16 bit address, very different IO, exclusively only 8 bit. So, there are going to be in and out locations. So, control signals for input and output, MEM or MEM. The same signals can be used to call the transfer. Different IO. Whereas here, exclusively IO or an IO, only these two. Then, instructions available are. SPA, LTA, STA, LDA, all these things. Okay, so all memory related instructions. If the IO device is connected with the 16 bit address, then you can use all these things as if it is a creating a memory location. So all these memory uh, related instructions can be used for data transfer. Whereas here, we have only in and out. Data transfer between any register and IO, only between IO and the accumulator. So it was connecting this, you can. Send the data from many registers to IO. That is the main advantage, not only from the but from any register, B, C, D, all those can be used. So see here, M, M, R. If M is the uh, location of the IO device, then R will be anything, A, B, C, D. So data from B to it can be transferred to the IO device. So that can be a own advantage in the memory map. But here, only will be accumulated in the IO device. The maximum number of IOs possible. The memory map is shared between IOs and the system. This much of memory location, this much of address can be connected. IO device can be connected. The IO map is independent of the memory map. So only 256 IO device and 256 device can be connected. The execution speed it is 13 bits. So for this, it is taken like how. Uh, how much attention uh, it takes occupies for a normal HDMI that must exist here. And normal here, standard is 10 bit. For the requirements, more important is needed. 